Libra, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're all doing well. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is all scratchy. But Libra, what's up? We're going to be doing a Celtic cross today. And we're just going to see what spirit has for you, what's going on in your life. All right. Let's get right into it. This will be for any and all Libra placements. What can you show me? Going on in Libra's life spirit. Libra, Libra. I hope you are all in good health and good wealth as always. Libra. What can you show me, spirit? It feels like a good day today. Anybody else feel like that? I feel like it's a good day. <laughs> Nothing much has happened, but it feels like a good day. Thank you. Current situation, Libra. We have the Queen of Pentacles. For your challenge with the Page of Swords. What you would benefit from focusing on at this time, we have the Strength. What you are leaving behind, we have the Four of Pentacles. In your near future, no, in your strengths, we have the Eight of Cups. In your near future, we have the Four of Wands. Advice, we have the King of Pentacles. In your environment, we have the Queen of Swords. Hopes and fears, the Queen of Cups, and the potential outcome, the Nine of Wands. Libra, this is what we got going on. A lot of people showing up here. Three queens, a king, and a page. Okay, okay. All right, let's make this nice and pretty because this is it's actually not that bad. All right, Libra, so in your current situation, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of emphasis here on just self-care, right? Being very nurturing to yourself, taking care of your responsibilities, and really just in that kind of like self-love is the best love type of place, right? A lot of healing going on, and you seem to be very comfortable, you know, like you're... You have a good understanding of like what's going on around you and especially in your tangible 3d world there's a strong sense of stability you know strong sense of abundance as well your challenge is the page of swords libra so this could be an energy outside of you it could just be you as well though with the um you know gemini libra aquarius energy showing up here to me, there's a challenge here on maybe how you're communicating with a certain energy or just communication between you and a specific energy in your life, right? There seems to be a... Hmm, a desire for more understanding in regards to how to communicate, right? With a specific energy, not that you don't know how to communicate. But it's like there's a specific energy showing up here, Libra, that maybe it's a new relationship or maybe it's a, I don't know, any type of relationship in your life. But it's not somebody that you're very close to, you know, somebody that you're trying to get closer to or understand more. Um, but there does seem to be a challenge in regards to, like, communication. And since your current situation is a Queen of Pentacles, this could be, like, having to do with your everyday life, you know, somebody that you see very regularly. Bottom of the deck with the Ten of Cups, nice. Um, what you'd benefit from focusing on is strength, so kind of just persevering, right? Um, everything that you've been through, understanding how far that you have came, right? Understanding how, how far you've gotten to even be in the seat of the Queen of Pentacles, because that's pretty badass, if you ask me. <laughs> but um, just keep persevering, right? And don't let any of life's challenges, whether it's communication, whether it's desire to understand more knowledge, more information, um, don't let that... It's just a bump in the road, Libra. That's what I'm seeing here, right? 
it's just a bump in the road. You've overcame so much to even get to this point. The strength is all about really just overcoming your fears. It is conquering your obstacles, right? Not letting life's curveballs kind of like take you out the game. It's really just going with the flow and understanding your power, right? That inner strength, that inner power that you have and that you've cultivated time and time again in your life to even, you know, to keep overcoming these challenges and obstacles. So I think in regards to what you could focus on more is just like remembering that inner power, remembering that inner strength and that it exists, you know, your courage, fearlessness, right? No matter what life throws at you, your ability to kind of overcome. Um, leaving behind with the four of pentacles. If you look at this card, there's like this death grip that the person has on this on these coins, right? So I feel like you're leaving behind any sort of lack mindset, right? Any sort of fear attached to what you have, right? Letting go of the attachment, attachment. Letting go of your desire to maintain attachments. So what you're letting go of is actually very powerful, Libra. You're showing me that you're no longer in fear of what you might not have, you know? You're showing me that you are embodying this Queen of Pentacles. You are very stable. You're showing me that you understand who you are or the position that you're in, that there's no need to be in that lack mindset, right? Or the need to be in control, right? You're letting go of this need or this maybe personal desire, right, that we all have um, at one point or another to kind of have control of our reality or the things that are taking place in it, right? You're letting go of this because you know that you are stable, you are abundant, you are successful, you are well taken care of. You've set your light, you've set yourself up for success. So this need to have control is almost like you're releasing it because you've you've put yourself in a position of really just being able to be stable without that need to like know how it, how tomorrow is going to play out or how this is going to how that relationship is going to go right you're letting go of the desire or need to have control over how things play out and that's awesome your strengths at this time we do have the eight of cups and so it's like your ability to walk away and emotionally detach from whatever is no longer serving you that's powerful right you're understanding that you're stable, that you're abundant, that you don't need to be in fear of lacking anything, right? Well taken care of by the universe. And your strength is literally being able to detach emotionally. So not only are you getting it like on a conceptual level and being able to walk away physically, but you're also really power, powerfully showing up, able to detach from anything that was not emotionally serving your highest good and your highest self. That's pretty powerful, Libra. <laughs> I like it. Um, your advice. Oh, no. Near future. Sorry. Kitty. The near future, we got the four of wands. Libra, it keeps getting better with you. You know? It, it's like... It's like a lot of healing, right? Because we start with the Queen of Pentacles in your current situation. And there's a lot of healing taking place. There's a lot of self-reflection. There's a lot of you taking care of your needs, right? Putting yourself first, but also being aware and perceptive of like the, your loved ones and everyone around you, your responsibilities. It's a very nice balance and your ability to detach from whatever is no longer serving this current version of you is leading to your near future being straight up happiness, stability, right? It's like you let go of maybe the fear of not having stability maybe one day tomorrow next week like you let go of that fear and because you let it go and detached emotionally the universe is bringing you a beautiful stable foundation to build your successes on right these are great relationships great connections deep 
relationships and connections that you can really count on and rely on. There's a lot of happiness here. And um, if you're starting a business, if you're starting any ideas or projects, this is like, this is like the universe basically returning whatever you've let go of or healed, right? Whatever you've chosen to, because no one's forcing you to heal anything. No one's forcing you to like go within and heal and nothing. But like your ability or choice to do that for yourself, it's like the universe is returning it tenfold instead of just maybe a couple coins, it's like the universe is giving you a something, a solid foundation where you can actually build a, a dynasty, right? Of hopefully not coins, because coins aren't really that important, but it's like, this is real stability, you know? This is genuine stability that you're passionate about. It can be coins, <laughs> you know, if that's, what, if that's what inspires you, but these are, the universe is really just multiplying whatever you've chosen to heal or let go of it's like multiplying it i don't know if that makes sense like um i'm sure it does <laughs> i'm just trying to think of like an analogy like let's say you gave up you had like me you know i've i've had a lot of bad habits in my life um it's like you give up one of those habits or you choose to um and it's like, you just do it for you because you love you and you want to heal and grow and evolve. But, and you don't expect anything from it. You do it for you. And so out of the blue, the universe is kind of like, it gives you, it's like you, you know, when they say replace a bad habit with a good one, it's like the universe ends up taking your path to like your new passion, right? Your new hobby. Like you weren't doing it before because you were occupied I, I'm, me in this situation, wasn't doing it before because I was occupied um, in the bad habit. But then it's like, little did I know I was just being led right into a true passion of mine. You know, something that's fulfilling to my soul, sustainable for my soul. It's like that con conceptually, I guess. That's what I'm seeing here. Straight up. Mm. Your choice to love yourself is being seen by the universe and it's being like rewarded but you're not expecting it you're doing it for you and the universe is like libra yes yes <laughs> um your advice we have the king of pentacles mm. More money, more problems, more blessings, more responsibilities. You know, I guess your advice would be to like, just be aware that you're leveling up, you know, and really embody this, embody this like version of you that is, that is leveling up, right? Your stability and successes are only getting greater. They are only growing in nature. They're only growing in depth and size, right? And so you might have more on your plate but the universe is saying libra you are already you were built for this you know you created this version of you so embody it and wear it proudly right not arrogantly but wear it proudly like you know your your successes you earned this you are deserving of this um embody those qualities of like yes i did right whether you were expecting it or not right you seem like you were just healing, taking care of you for you. But like the universe is showing you a type of life, a type of success that you are so worthy of, Libra. And mm, be very nurturing with yourself still. Continue to be, right? Um, be gentle and be loving. Your advice is just to embody those qualities of straight up a boss, <laughs> a straight up boss. And get that bread. Don't be shy, Libra. If the money is there, if, if if the success is there and spirit is putting it in front of you, money is not important. But if it's there, like, it's there for you, you know? Um, in your environment, so maybe external factors that are just influencing you, but in your environment, we have the Queen of Swords. Mm, there could be external energies um, that you're dealing with could be testing your discernment, you know, people, places, or things that just make you take a 
make you um, take a make you think a little bit, you know, like you don't rush into any decisions. I don't know. There could be people, places or things around you that are just testing you. Right. And so your external environment or the environment around you might just be really testing your patience. I want to say whether or not you're going to use this sword in a elegant way or in a very harsh way totally up to you but it's in the environment right people places and things that could be very blunt or harsh or just testing libra so just be aware of that your hopes and fears we have the queen of cups libra this is looking like love mm. Start off with the Queen of Pentacles, and I, like, I'm, I'm kind of like this in a way. It's like, I'm cool healing with myself and by myself, because I don't have to, you know, that's just kind of like doing, taking care of you, you know, self-pampering or just healing whatever for you, but not sharing it with anyone else. But it looks like your hopes and fears is like really just expressing your true nature, the true heart that you have, expressing it um and sharing it with somebody on that deeper level you know and kind of that reciprocity it's like your your desire to love but your fear to open up maybe or your desire to be seen for the beautiful soul that you are but maybe a bit of fear about really letting that version of you be seen you know Something along those lines. Love. Love is scary, but love is so beautiful. So it makes sense, Libra. <laughs> makes perfect sense to me. Um, and your potential outcome is the nine of wands. So whatever you're creating, whatever you're starting, the outcome is you just being on that path and being determined to like see your success come to fruition, see your manifestations come to fruition. Um, potential outcome is you not giving up just because the road gets a little bumpy or things get a little hard or the shadow work gets a little too real. It's you really just like going to the place of your dreams, the place of your desires, you know. You've invested so much of yourself in to get as far as you have in regards to whatever you're building for yourself or whatever you're desiring and manifesting. It's like you're not just, you're not giving up, you know. And Spirit's encouraging you to keep going because it's going to come true. Because on the bottom of the deck, we do got the Ten of Cups, which is everything that you want, everything that you can picture being a happy life coming into fruition, right? Peaceful, peaceful environments where you don't have to compete. You're not an option. You never were. But it's like your, your desires, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, they're all coming true. And the outcome for this specific spread is you just stay on that path, Libra. Do not give up. Keep believing in you because it is coming true. Um, Nine of Wands is very, like, kind of like the wounded warrior. You know, like, you've been through some things. Life hasn't always been easy, but you've never given up on you. And you continue to do all this beautiful work and, tr and straight up level up <laughs> every single step you take, Libra. So I am very happy for you i love to see it let's see what spirit has any messages for libra before we leave oh, divine flow eventually uh, eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the Tao, the divine flow at all costs keep going with the flow libra it is obviously working for you for real. <laughs> Keep going with that flow. What else? Anything else? Companionship. Oh, there's some hopes and fears. Um, giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. So, so true. There's nothing like it. Having that undivided attention that we can't seem to get away from when it comes to ourselves, but being able to give that to someone else, you know. I love it. Your complete presence, all of you, the real you, the authentic you, ease, 
It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. And it is easy for me to receive. It is easy for you to receive Libra. And then we got divine love. Oh, love, I'm telling you. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. Libra, that is exactly what you did. You persevered. You knew whatever you wanted, whatever your goal was in regards to healing or just taking care of you for once, right? Putting yourself first. Like you knew the road wasn't going to be easy. Persevered through it chose to let go of the need to control or understand how it's all going to play out detached for you and spirit is blessing you for that spirit you are in a divine flow a divine love a divine companionship with the freaking universe libra it does not get much better than that i'm telling you right now i love my job all right last card one, only one of these Libra miracles talk to me acceptance Libra accept these blessings that are coming into your life because you manifested it nobody else did it Libra you're in that connection with spirit you're in you're tapped in right with source accept all of these blessings accept everything that you've chosen to heal face let go of work through manifest right your life is turning into something of a miracle because you're you're embracing change you're seeking out change mm, yeah there's not much to say right miracles <laughs> you expect nothing less than miracles moving forward libra i hope that this reading resonated if you would like to follow me on social media or book a personal reading Links will be in the description box below or my about tab.